Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Ultimate General American Civil War. This is episode 9 of our Confederate Let's Play, using the JMP mod, and we are on to the Battle of Port Republic. We're allowed to bring 13 brigades into this battle, and 1st, uh, 2nd, and 3rd Division are what we will be taking. So I did add two brand new infantry brigades. Um, basically, the idea is get these guys some experience before going into Gaines Mill. I should have probably done this with a few other units because I will be expanding my army out for Games Mill. My goal is to have 30 brigades. It would be amazing to have 40, but 30 is probably where we will sit just because we are at a major officer deficit. I've mentioned this before. We only have three lieutenant colonels in our reserve and then the rest is a bunch of majors, which is a bunch of doo-doo, to be honest, but we will we will make do. Um, so what we're taking is eight infantry, two of them being very green, and then I would like Kemper to hit two stars. I don't know if that'll happen, but I did also buy the Enfield pat pattern 1853s with some reputation. Um, we should gain another, well, we'll actually gain six reputation from the next battle. And I'm thinking that'll give us nine to spend. I'm thinking of grabbing a PGT Beauregard and Joseph Kershaw with that reputation just to have more, more officers. And then we're, we're going to be running low on reputation this entire thing. This is what our career pool looks like. So Politics 8 brought me from that uh, five reputation per battle to six reputation per battle. So I think this is where we'll probably stop for the time being. And then after this battle we'll probably put a point either into economy or medicine i'm kind of undecided and then after gains mill i'd love to go to training four if we can as long as we don't have to you know boost up army organization or anything like that and then i would love to bounce back and forth between medicine and economy and kind of put two points after every major battle into training so our training pool grows and grows and grows that's the idea at least that's uh the, the training idea comes from Gonzo. I'm not doing it nearly as well as he planned it out, but, uh, you know, good enough for me. So this is our army moving forward. Also, we had enough 24-pounder howitzers to upgrade Kirkland to have 24-pound howitzers, so hopefully those will do some damage. And, uh, yeah, uh, our armory is looking good. It's just our barracks is absolute crap. We have so many 12-pound howitzers. Basically, once I, I'm trying to hold on to all of this for as long as I can until our economy gets to a stage where I can sell these for a, a pretty penny. That is the goal here. That's the advice that was given to me is like try to hold on to your equipment until your economy gets high enough to where you can sell it. Um, so, yeah, that's that's the concept. We'll go we try to get our training up by two after every major battle from here on and then try to boost up our economy and medicine after that would love to get to reconnaissance six we'll see i mean the larger the battles get the better reconnaissance gets so we'll also have to you know juggle that unfortunately logistics will probably stay at two for a while i'd love to get it up to like four or six but six seems to be a sweet spot for a lot of these career points going on to the battle of fort republic though you can see it's now six reputation there which is fantastic 112,000 money which is also amazing 5400 recruits which is good we'll see if i use most of these recruits going into Gaines mill because we can take a lot of troops going into Gaines mill Taking a look at Port Republic, 9th of June, 1862, your operations throughout the valley have forced the Federals to mobilize a significant force within the area, delaying their offensive plans against our capital. A second Union column under General Shields is marching to Port Republic. We must attack and destroy the Union force. This will be the last battle in the area. Defeat the Federals to force their retreat from the valley. Then you'll be free to move your forces and support the defense of Richmond. So, they have just shy of 12,000 soldiers, 33. 33 guns, so um, this number is a little bit off because it doesn't just take the first 13 brigades, so I'm not entirely sure what our numbers are, but I imagine they're quite similar. On the battle map, a Yankee brigade has been spotted taking up positions in this area. It must be the vanguard of Shields' division, and I think it is just one over there, unless of course it duplicates them. Then it'll be terrible. Currently, you have only one brigade available, but there are more units coming from Cross Keys. They are marching to support the attack and soon will join you. 
which that's not true. We have three to start, if I recall. Our scouts report that their main force is strung out along the muddy roads and is not expected to arrive soon. Advance your brigade and attack their vanguard before the rest of the federal troops arrive. I wonder if that is that supposed to be like one division, because you see here we have three brigades available, which isn't quite a division. They're also looking backwards. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, actually, this will be a very quick deploy, I think. I think I'm just going to deploy infantry to start. That'll be the idea here. and. Uh, yeah, it'll just be infantry to start. So let's get started. Okay, so very first thing I always do is grab skirmishers and have them push across because I always say I would rather have the skirmishers get ambushed than the rest of my men get ambushed and then we'll start moving across over here. Speed things up. I did do a little peek and so they have like a couple guys here, then they have a bunch of guys over here. Some reinforcements come from here, and I think uh, it might just be here, and then the bulk of their forces come across this river, so it's almost like, go capture this hill and then defend against this this uh, counterattack over here, so that's good, they have not split, there's some artillery out over there, and what we are probably going to do is move up forces like so, Quicksilver go over here, Stuart there, and then let's see what we can find out, find over here. So Carol's a pretty beefy brigade, I don't know where that artillery fire came from. Ouch. Okay, we can't see them now. Always an issue in this game is line of sight. It's like, uh, we know the enemy's there, and we can't, we can't see them. There we go. Now we can see them. All right, so let's, uh, let's push these brigades forward. Let's push you forward. I don't know if there's any anything else going on over here. Kind of pulling... Ooh, okay, that's artillery. Ooh, that's... That's too many guys. Okay. I'm pressing F, which is, you know, generally the retreat button, but they're not paying attention. Come on, get out of there. Federal troops came from cross keys and joined the battle, so there's their forces, there's ours, so perfect. Okay, lots of lots of stuff going on now. Um, I do need you guys to push up. You'll be group two. I do need the artillery to push up. You'll be group one. And then grab all of you guys pushing up here. I did Looks like I looks like I grabbed the wrong wrong guys. Okay, I do need I do need to clear out a bunch of stuff. So let's have no, actually that's a bad idea. I'm a little a little lost at what I want to do here. You need guys moving across over here. Are they charging? That's a ridiculous distance to charge. Alright. Wasn't paying attention over there. Looks like I got some guys kind of beat up because of it. Really? They So they're like charging. Their condition should just be tanking, right? They charge that far across the river. Oh, let's go grab them. Okay, we're gonna put a put a force here. Blocking force. Move you guys up over here. Need need reserves to get in. Group one. Probably something like actually, I think pushing you up like that would be better. No, that's making making mistakes with my cab. Would like Wilcox to move up over there. Would like you guys. Okay, so more guys charging in. Interesting. Quicksilver really need you to stay. 
stay in the fray. Where'd their skirmishers go? The Kemper skirmishers get out over here. I really need you guys to move up. I would like you guys to get out of there and these these fresh units. I would like you to move up over here. That would be the idea. Alright, can you guys charge into there? Get out of there, please. Shoot there. Shoot there. And then we'll come in from behind. And melee, melee them from behind. Another Yankee Brigade spotted, so that's down there. Perfect. Did you guys rejoin somebody? Okay. Um, need you guys to push up. Kind of, kind of a mess to start. This battle's pretty big mess, actually. See if we can. We got them like broken routing, broken routing. Um, need them to to basically retreat, though. Did they? Not the tree. I, I don't know what I'm saying. There we go. That's what I meant. My my actions speak louder than my words. That is for sure. Um, I don't always I don't always speak well. Okay, put silver get over here, and then. You guys move out over here. We grab those supplies, perfect. And then let's just make sure this cab doesn't... Nothing bad happens to them. So we have Breckenridge. Let's grab some skirmishers off Breckenridge. Let's grab some skirmishers, skirmishers. And then that way we can... Maybe harass the enemy a little bit better. Because I imagine the enemy will do some sort of counterattack, at least I that's what I would think. Okay, um there should be Okay, Wilcox, you should have skirmishers. Let's go poke and see. There should be somebody over here. There we go. That's who I was looking for. Okay. Pull you guys forward. Pull you around. And then where's our cab? Our cab could actually go over here. Oh, I've grabbed somebody else. Have I not keybound my cab yet? I've been really bad about keybinding this in this battle. Turn you guys off of that. Alright. That's absolutely nowhere near where I told you to go. Alright, so the enemy has a bunch of artillery, so not not good. And then over here, we just need to go and crush this little force, and then we'll come back. I think it's just one big giant brigade. I don't know what. You guys just not wanting to come forward and retake retake the position. Okay, you guys actually be group one. You're group two. You guys need to not go on counter battery fire. So you'll be group three actually. And then this should be a nice nice little cleanup. Um, I do want my this supply instead of Stuart. Oh, great. Our plan here is to just rush. That is the plan. So I would like you guys to charge in. I would like you guys to move up. 
would like you guys to move up, and then you guys can move over here. Alright. I don't know if we will be able to catch up. Probably just grab you three, Benjamin. You can move back over here. Got our cabin to those guys, get our cabin to them, and then continue actually Kemper. You're good at not being part of this. And we just need Tyler to completely break. That is the new plan. I would like you guys to run so you guys can help out the cab. Because the cab will start to get tired, and those guys can potentially come back. So the, the enemy's just sitting in this corner, huh? Okay, I don't need their guys coming back, so... It's a confident routing... Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Actually... Well, we'll see. Yeah, see, we're, we're losing morale, but they keep going from routing to broken. So hopefully we can... It would be great if we can like break them permanently because our guys are taking some casualties. Maybe you guys can go back to your parent unit now I think about it. Come on, see we're wavering. We need that unit to go. Shoot him please. There we go. That should be a big shot. Now we're wavering a bunch more. Come on. Can we charge in? Because our guys are about to route. Which is obnoxious. Alright, what's going on over here? The enemy is not doing anything. Alright, this should... This should help out... I wouldn't say fresh, but two... Two units that are doing better. There we go. They're gone. Alright. Bring you guys back. And then that. Yeah, that worked. Wasn't great because now we've got guys stuck in a corner. But the enemy's kind of stuck in a corner, so I'm not... Like, do I go... We actually don't need you guys doing anything special. Didn't I have more skirmishers? Oh, they're probably part of Breckin' the Jungle Box, I would imagine. And then you guys are exhausted. Alright, so what's our plan here? This is swampy. We can get those guys over there. We're still trying to kill Tyler. Alright. This... Can we cross? That's the only place we can cross, is right there. Oh boy. Um. Oh. Not great by any means. <laughs> Alright. Um. Let's just put you two. Actually, let's put. Let's pull you two up. Just grab. You two can sit on the objective. Quicksilver, you're going to be needed pretty badly. And then, over here, we could move you guys up. And get you guys to move up, and then you guys behind. Right, they are kind of pushing up, so that's... I mean, kind of good? I, I don't... I'm, I'm like at a loss on what to do because the enemy gave up the objective. I, I wish the enemy had to had to stay on the objective or had, had to continue pushing the objective and if they didn't hold the objective then the timer just kind of disappears that'd be my, my thought process all right i need you guys to push up i actually need all of this and then do something like that. Yeah. Let's move 
this artillery over here. Have you shoot that. Perfect. We could get you guys across the river. That would be great. Get Quicksilver across. It's really messy at the moment, but it's just how it's going to have to be. I don't know. Can, can we kill him? That would be amazing if we could. Those guys are really struggling. And then we have the main battle over here. Did we straight up lose somebody already? I need you guys to get off of skirmishing. Okay. Please hit that. Okay, you just hit that. You move up. You guys are doing a terrible job. Move up. Move up, please. Just rejoin your parent unit. This is, a little, this is messy. It's got really messy because that's the only way to get across. I can hear our cavalry attacking their, their guys. We're tired, which is not good. They're just getting crazy, crazy grape shot shots against us. I don't know what Leonard is doing. These guys are fresh. It makes me want to charge, but probably not the best idea. Come on, keep moving up, please. Those guys are wavering, steady, warmed up, warmed up heroic. Okay, can you guys just stay there? Perfect. Okay. Should be good. Maybe. They're wavering. Can you guys charge into them? And can you guys charge into them while you all shoot that artillery. Heyman surrender. Cool. Move you guys up. Move Quicksilver up. Come on, shoot them. Shoot them. Just need the artillery to... Okay, can we charge? Let's kind of do some mass charges over here. Benjamin's definitely... taking it. Okay, need you guys to run. Quicksilver probably needed a little bit more up. Okay, that was a break. Oh, one of our guys is routing. Benjamin is routing. That's not good. You guys are tired but confident. Can you charge? Or did you already charge? That's probably the problem. They probably already charged. So their charge timer is still going. And then we need you to... I mean, there's not much... Oops. That was the cat. That's alright. Alright, Benjamin. You know what? You, you did fine. You, you done did good. That's the southern way of saying that, right? Okay, they're routing. Let's get them in the corner. See if we can either shatter them. Everybody's tired, tired, tired. Steady. Okay, can you guys like, rejoin? And then you, you'll just go over here. 
do something like that. So, and then we'll just shoot him to bits. How about, how about that? And our supply, we didn't use a lot of supplies, so that's perfect. Great. Hit the cav. We'll do something like that. And you guys will just go behind. Okay, well, that was it. Couldn't capture those guys, unfortunately. So, 2053 captured, not too shabby. Um, wow, so they didn't have much of a force. That's interesting. And it came in waves. That battle was actually really easy, but, I mean, we did. We lost a decent chunk of guys. How did this go? Wow, our cab got the most kills. That's pretty awesome. That's really awesome, and they didn't lose a lot. I felt like the Cav did really well in that battle, um, mainly because I guess it's a little cheesy. Uh, I've been taught by Gonzo, kind of just go in, do like do the battle without making any changes to your army, and go see how the the battle is, and then kind of create your army for the battle that way. And that's been working a little bit better. Um, so, ah oh, man, our cavalry officer got wounded right before. Right before a major battle. That's not good. I like I like finally seeing people get promotions. It's just like, ugh. It, it felt so rough not getting battlefield promotions. I mean, yeah. But I, I went off on that last time, so we won't go this time. As far as rescued weapons, I mean, we didn't take a lot of casualties. As far as captured weapons, uh, you know, some okay stuff. Nothing, Nothing to write home about, but... Sucks that we had another wounded officer, but I, I like finally seeing promoted on this screen. I, you should have promotions after every battle. That's just kind of like how it goes. I mean, yeah. All right, so another six rep, one career point, you know, prisoner exchange, all of that good stuff. Kemper, finally level two. Perfect. So I think it's musketry proficiency. The speed is okay, larger detached skirmishers is okay, bayonet, meh. I like musket proficiency, so let's, let's do that. Um, yeah, so that's, that's good that he's finally two star. He's our, he's like our best guy, Benjamin, Leonard Benjamin and Kemper and Marshall have led the most battles, Kirkland also. I feel like they're the ones that replaced the, uh, the initial guys that just died right away. These guys didn't get enough. I probably, I should have put these guys as the first three brigades that came on. I didn't really think about that. So that's that's a little bit of a mistake on my part. No, Benjamin took more casualties than I would have liked. Yeah, 380 casualties. So that's, that's unfortunate. I like that it tells you how many guys you started the battle with. Man, they did really well at Shiloh and Steeler. Oh, and first bull run. Holy cow. How is this unit not two star? Probably because I keep putting recruits into there, and that's why. I, I haven't figured out the best way to do that. I, I probably never will without, you know, doing stuff that I don't necessarily enjoy doing, per se. Um, but, so, Kedit, five battles, Poe. Edger Allen Poe. No, it's Derek Poe, his long-lost cousin. Um, Breckenridge. Yeah, so I think the army's doing fine. I say fine a lot. It's alright. Um, so what would the next level of economy is? 10% discount. One supply. 1% uh, and then medicine. This is where I'm a little bit of a loss of what to do here. I, I kind of want to kind of want to put a point into economy. But I also want to start pumping into medicine because our army is going to start getting larger and larger and larger. And the more medicine we have, the better. As you can see, we have 1825 badly wounded. From what I understand, all of those go kaput after this major battle, which is kind of like a big oof. Um, so you, you'd like medicine to help that a little bit. I don't know if the tooltip properly says officer wounded, officer death. Medicine increases the amount of casualties that get healed after the battle. Yeah, I, I know there's some sort of some sort of equation on how many badly wounded men go into your wounded pool and how many wounded pool 
Go into your veteran pool, and from understand, after every major battle, your badly wounded pool just goes kaput. Goes away, so... Medicine is definitely something that would help us out, but... This is what our army looks like at the moment, going into the Battle of Gaines Mill. This is what our armory looks like, going into the Battle of Gaines Mill. So you can see, well, we've got lots of carbines, that's kind of cool. And then... Um, yeah, it's the same carbines. And then artillery, you can see we've got lots of crappy guns. We've got a decent amount of Napoleons. But we could make another 3-inch ordnance battery, which is kind of cool. So we'll we'll probably have another 3-inch ordnance. Another Napoleon. And we'll see if we need more artillery after that. I, I like a minimum of one artillery per division. And then as the battles go on, sometimes I like to have about six artillery per corps. I'm not a fan on going like crazy on artillery. Um, I'm really digging Melee Cat, as unhistorical as he may be. I feel like I'm getting the groove on Melee Cat, even if uh, not always the most efficient. I feel like, well, you know, those losses aren't bad for him. What about over here? Cross keys was a little rough, but I mean, some of those kill to death ratios are brutal and what they kill really matters. Like if they can gobble up all those annoying skirmishers, because using a brigade to take on skirmishers is really inefficient. Very inefficient. Those skirmishers can soak up so much damage. So just charging artillery and skirmishers off the battlefield really helps. And then, like in that battle where I got that rear charge off on like two different units, I think, um, and just absolutely crushed and shattered those units, really, really helped swing the battle in my favor. So we also have a nice chunk of money. Money has not really been a problem in this uh this campaign which is interesting i feel like i've been pretty good about buying guns and then you know using the weapons that we have which is what i've been told as in, as the confederates just kind of like use what you have even if it's not great because it's better than going broke but we'll we'll see we'll see how the army looks going into games because as i said uh ooh, that was a big number did we not kill enough of them? That was a really big number I saw. I'll go back and show you what I meant. Well, it says they only have 19,000. It says you need to raise your reconnaissance level. So is that number not anywhere near accurate? Or is it just I don't see the breakdown, which is fine. I don't need to see the breakdown. But up here... The enemy army is growing in strength. Try to inflict more casualties in the upcoming battles. Man, I felt like I inflicted a lot of casualties in those battles. And, they're, and they grew. Hmm. But if we win, that'll be tons of money, tons of rep. Be pretty awesome. Their army size. Oh, it's their weapons quality is low. I have to look. I'm pretty sure they... Get a bunch of reinforcements at Gaines Mill. It's something like they have their starter force and then they get reinforcements. But technically, that's how it worked for the Confederates too. Like, um, who who was it? Was it AP Hills Division that came across first? I can't remember who who got here first. But it was a big, big bloody battle, and then I believe this was like Long Street or whatever came down the, came down the flank, and really pushed, pushed the Union off the position, and it became, became a complete and utter rout for the Union by the end of the day. Uh, a lot of the problems for the Confederates were just like getting their troops moved into position, and um, the, the, there was a lot of confusion at the very beginning of the battle because. Uh, you, armies tried to move kind of like Napoleon's cores. Um, you, you generally kept like your cores and divisions together, but they could get spread out, and then you hear like a battle over here, and it's sort of like, oh, everybody run to that area. You get runners and everything. So that was a problem at Gaines Mill where there was a lot of communication problems at the very beginning, trying to organize the troops. 
and it became a little bit of a mess and the, the first confederates that fought they they fought pretty well but they got absolutely mauled and then it was just kind of by like sheer weight and numbers in this flanking attack over here where the, the confederates broke the union and uh, turned into as i said basically a complete rout wasn't wasn't very good for the union whatsoever but that is going to be it for today's episode so please like comment subscribe all of that youtube jazz greatly helps out the channel really appreciate it um on the road to a thousand so that's always a fun thing there um, but yeah that's uh next battles gains mill as always guys until next time